14 years after the World Trade Center fell, the Zadroga 9-11 health care bill for first responders becomes permanent. We'll go live to D.C. for reaction from our region's first responders and from the lawmakers who helped make it finally happen. And then party problems. The top two Democrats seem ready to go to war on the eve of another debate that no one will watch, while Republicans deal with party crashers, one now seemingly backed by Vladimir Putin and two others poised to crash out of the party altogether. And later, Disney versus The Force. The happiest place on Earth gets a reality check and some new metal detectors. Question is, is this our new normal? Good evening and welcome to RFL. I'm Andrew Whitman. Richard French has the night off. We begin tonight with news that has been 14 years in the making, or if you like, 14 years overdue. Ground Zero workers, the people who rushed into the rubble and smoke where the World Trade Center stood until September 11, 2001, those men and women now have a promise from their government. Their health care costs will be taken care of. Early this morning, the House passed a massive spending bill that will ensure the government remains open. In that bill was a permanent extension of the Zadroga bill, providing health care for ground zero workers. The bill was then passed by the Senate around noon today and was signed into law by President Obama a couple of hours ago. This is an issue that you know has for some reason always been a contentious one whenever it came up for a vote. And now, no more votes will be needed. It's also a big issue here in our region, as it has been on this program. So tonight we cover it from both sides, the political in just a moment. But first, what this means to the 9-11 workers, the bill will help so much. Fios 1 News' Cecilia Dowd is live in Washington, D.C. tonight, where she covered the vote and the reaction. Good evening, Cecilia. Good evening, Andrew. Well, that's right. Today is a day that so many 9-11 responders weren't sure they'd actually see happen. The bill that so many of them fought so hard for has finally passed Congress. Now, it was a mix of emotions here on Capitol Hill. I saw tears of joy. I saw determination. But I saw resignation in the faces of responders who tell me that this struggle will never be over as more and more people become sick from 9-11 related illnesses. But those who are sick and those who become sick can now find solace in the fact that over the next 75 years, their health care will be funded. There were hugs and there were tears in the U.S. Capitol today. They answered the call of duty on 9-11, and they stayed there. They never stopped answering the call of duty. And because of those horrible toxins, they are dying. For 9-11 responder John Field, today's victory is a bittersweet one. You don't celebrate when people are still dying. And uh, we're going to go see Ray Pfeiffer now. So uh, <clears throat> I'll go celebrate with Ray. This thumbs up was given for Ray Pfeiffer. Fios One News has covered Pfeiffer's story. He's a retired New York City firefighter suffering from 9-11 related stage four cancer. He's made nearly 30 trips to DC and was supposed to be here today. But just days ago, he found out his cancer has spread. And instead of celebrating here in DC, he's in a hospital bed in New York. Pfeiffer is currently benefiting from Zadroga Act funds. This gives uh, those who are sick, those who might become sick, uh, the, and their families the reassurance they need that this program is permanent and they will get the permanent care they need. These really very rare and unique illnesses. These responders, both sick with 9-11 related illnesses, came all the way to Washington to see the Zadroga Act pass. It's extraordinary. It was a hard fight. It's been surreal. And, um, I'm numb. I'm excited. Um, I'm still sad of the people that we've lost. Um, I'm sad about Ray Pfeiffer, who's in the hospital right now. And uh, I'm just uh, I'm, I'm glad that it's all said and done and that we won a, a long, hard-fought battle. Well, I just spoke to Ray Pfeiffer on the phone. He's in the hospital, still in New York. He says his cancer has spread to his brain and his leg. For now, doctors plan on focusing on the leg, and next week he will go into a 16-hour surgery where they plan on taking the cancer out and then reconstruct reconstructing his leg. He said today alone he got over 200 phone calls, almost 300 text messages, but he says it's not about him. It's about the thousands upon thousands of people that this bill will help, and he said that he wants to thank the American people for not forgetting the 9 11 community reporting live from Washington DC Cecilia Dowd Fios One News all right Cecilia thank you very much the passage of this permanent Zadroga 9-11 health bill was the result of lots of work from lots of lawmakers including senators Kirsten Gillibrand and Chuck Schumer and Long Island Congressman Peter King we got reaction today from all of them 
I couldn't be more ecstatic. It's a huge moment for these first responders. This is something they've earned, something they desperately need. Too many of them are dying of horrible diseases, and to guarantee their health care permanently makes all the difference. I feel great. There couldn't be a better Christmas present for our first responders. They and their families now know if they get sick, God forbid, tomorrow or 20 years from now, there'll be something there for them, the best health care. And that's the least we can do for people who rush to the towers for us. This has been going on for so long that until it was over, it really wasn't over. You couldn't, you couldn't count on anything because there's been so many stops and starts. This is the furthest we ever got, but there's always a chance that it may not make it. So yeah, we, had a, we couldn't stop fighting until the very end. Look, we just were relentless, and when they blocked things, we made it clear and they backed off. And you know, it's not a party thing. Peter King did a great job. But Mitch McConnell, when he decided to block it, people knew it was him, and that forced him to back off. You know, nothing ever happens here unless regular people stand up and demand it, and that's what the first responders did. They came here week after week. They sat out, out front of senators' offices until they were heard. Their voice really made the difference, and it's because of their hard work that we have this bill done today. It's been a heartbreaking process because they need this health care. They need it to be there for them when they need it. They can't have the anxiety of thinking their doctor is going to be gone a year from now. So this is a blessing for all of us, and I pray for all of our first responders. They deserve everything in the world. They are the ones who are so courageous and such extraordinary leaders, and the, the, the least we can do is stand by them when they need our help. Up next, we'll turn the page here on RFL, and we go from Washington to Albany, specifically draining the Albany swamp. After the convictions of Shelley Silver and Dean Skelos, one Albany lawmaker says he's got a plan to end or at least reduce corruption in the state capitol. His plan and analysis from our panel is next.